so let's go on with these uh, issues about that protection in Brazil. We are talking about good faith and the principles of data protection according to the uh, Brazilian legal framework. So here we have a second norm that this that express inside the article 6. Proportionality. Compatibility of the treatment with the environment proposes observing the context of the treatment. Of course, so if a consumer send the data to the company and send this data observing before that the company express it, look, I will use your data for this purpose. Of course that the company cannot use this data for other purpose, right? So, once that was informed to the consumer, that was informed to the citizen, the aim of the treatment of the data the consumer and the citizen sent to the legal entities, well, shall be a link among the purpose, the aim, and the will, the acceptance of the, the contractual part, right? So, next, necessity. The treatment processing of personal data shop serves necessity, that is, the limitation of the treatment to the minimum necessary for the performance of the purposes, including the related data with the person and not excess in relation to ends of the data treatment. Well, here we have what? A minimalism, a minimalism uh, perspective in a meaning that the interpretation is always considering that the consumer and the citizen give less information as possible. So, you will not use that, you will not, you will not record, generate, uh, store data that you don't need to give treatment. This is the same that you uh, ask for more liability without a counterpart, right? So it's not rational. You take data that you will not use according to the purpose. So why this happens? Of course, because the reality is that Companies need data to increase the machine learning, for example. So, in a first time of development, you can understand, well, I need this point and this point of data. In a second and third stage of the development of the software, you can understand that, well, I need much more data, many more data I need to uh, achieve the objective of the service or of the product, for example, right? And here we have a foreign arm inside the article 6 that talk about the treatment processing of personal data, right? And this uh, Norm number four, express, then says, free access, that is, guarantee to the data owners of free and easy access about the farm in terms of the treatment as well as the guarantee on the totality of their own personal data. So, who is the owner of the data? Well, where is the source of the data? The source of the data is the first owner of the data, right? <coughs> so
So, the owner of the data need to have access and need to have the possibility of take again the data or better saying of express that the company need to exclude that data and not use anymore for any kind of treatment right so who is the owner of the data the first owner look up for the source of the data that is the consumers the citizens i you how that is metrified so we have data about machines also right and these data about machines are not personal data in a meaning of personal data related to natural persons but can be personal data related to legal entities this is a very interesting interpretation of the law and considering this interpretation what consequences we have? Well, the owner of the data is the legal entity. Who generated the data was the legal entity, or was the machine that is an asset and a good of a legal entity, right? So, free access. And the next data quality, that is, guarantee to the data owners the precision, the evidence, the relevance, and the data update according to the necessity and the fulfillment of the purpose of treatment. So, here we have the data quality as a minimum standard to manipulate data. You cannot be, you, you shall be a kind of professional this kind of thing now uh, is related with the abilities so it's something for professionals it's necessary to have a uh, credit in the treatment of the data and how you acquire this well with good professionals that understand how structure security information right you will need also when we think about a uh, quality hardware of quality right and what is a hardware of credit well it's not cheap you acquire a server and maintain this server right so here we have a market a strong market as a company for example you can hire a third cloud service but you also can have your in-house in-house server right so data quality demands many qualified professionals, right? Transparency. Transparency, according to the Brazilian law, is a guarantee to the data owners evident and precise information about the performance of the treatment and the label persons for it as well as an easy access to this data observing the industrial and commercial secrets well here we have a great norm about how the business shall be structured concerning transparency right so as the law said the performance of the treatment and the liable persons are informations that the data owner 
have right to know about, right? So, of course, if you are the owner of the data, the company have your data, you need know how to get in contact with that company, knowing what is going on with my data to solve any kind of problem with your data, right? So transparency, as in any business, is something essential. Security. So the Brazilian law talks about use of technical and administrative instruments that are able to protect the personal data from not authorized access and of accidental situations or protect against criminal destruction, loss, modification, communication, propagation. Well, security is a very important issue in data privacy because if you don't have secure, you cannot have the uh, data accuracy, right? You cannot know if the data was changed or not. So here we uh, have a way to the forensic sector of uh, studies, but again, when we are talking about security, we are talking about data quality, transparency, right? So, imagine that the server uh, suffers a zero-day attack from a zero-day uh, malware, for example. All the files of the server uh, were encrypted because the hacker gained the root access. Let's think about this case. Well, it's an unusual situation, right? Why? Because it's a zero day malware. But what is not unusual? The backup system. So, imagine that some one is uh, handing out the servers and this happens okay if this person do not have a backup of the data that is usual to to have well the, doesn't matter if this is a zero day there is a liability here right but if happens a zero day attack attack from a zero day malware I'm sorry and man the service doesn't work we will need a raise out and use the backup okay why okay because you are observing the normal the common techniques of this area Right? That is, have a backup. So, here we have uh, also the issue about prevention inside this Article 6 that is talk about the good faith and principles, right? In the data privacy area. So, prevention. Implementation of instruments to prevent to against damage originated from the treatment of personal data. That is ex exactly what I uh, just said before. So, you need backup, you need uh, softwares against virus, mal malware, you need a uh, culture of security inside the business so there is a, a, a lot of issues necessary to manipulate data right it's not simple it's an art and it's a technique not discrimination it's not allowing the treatment of personal data of purposes to purposes of unlawful discrimination of course you cannot use the collected data 
right? To obtain an unlaw unlawful end. Doesn't matter the means that you will use if your objective is something unlawful. So, if the doubt is the mean to get something unlawful, man, you cannot use this kind of practice, right? And any kind of discrimination, it's uh, related with unlawful situations, right? Responsibility and, and accountability, demonstration by the agent of the use of efficient instruments that shall be able to prove the compliance and fulfillment of the protection rules of personal data, observing the effectiveness of adopted measures. Well, responsibility and accountability are two sides of the same coin, right? So, remember the essence of was said before we are talking about good faith we need to be fair in the relation any kind of structure that is not fair concerning the treatment of the data will be unlawful so we are talking about good faith as principle right as a legal principle not only a moral principle, but a legal principle. A principle that is in a positive law form. In this law of data protection in Brazil, in the Civil Codex, and in the Brazilian Constitution. So it is 